for welcoming me here at church. Um, I've been coming since Easter, um, and as I said, I have a confirmed message, so I feel like I'm real. Uh, I'm a member now. I've got my good part. Um, so basically, what happened was in 2006, I went to work in Egypt for three years. Um, as many of you know, it's a Muslim country, um, and the Muslims are very prominent there. Um, the percent of Egypt is Christian, um, and they're very um, quiet, they're very, um, you know, they've got a real good feeling about them, and it wasn't until I'd been there a year or so that I actually started getting to know them, and they started to invite me to church there. Um, I've been here to this church for weddings and funerals, but I've never really, spirit has never been a big part of my life. Um, a few problems in my life here. Um, and I started to see the communities in Egypt were just breathtaking. You know, the, the spirit of going on to these churches, they're literally packed, people like hanging out the windows because the churches aren't big enough. Um, and it's just amazing to see, you know, that people can love Jesus and love Christ so strongly, even in a Muslim country. Um, you know, we can, we can go and preach on the streets here, and people might ignore us, but we can do it. In Egypt, if you did that, you know, you might be arrested. That's, that's the difference between there and here. Um, and it was really breathtaking. When I came back here, I, I thought, right, you know, I, I really do want Jesus into my life. I've seen the experiences in Egypt. Um, and this is where I started to come and meet you guys on a Sunday morning. Um, and Sarah's been helping me a lot, and Andy as well, over the last um, few months. And it's really been, my life has changed completely in the last six months. So I really do owe it to um, Sarah and Andy, so thank you so much for that. Um, a little bit more about the Christians. So I'm going tomorrow back to Egypt, which I'm quite excited about to see all my Christian friends there. I bought a little, um, I call it a prayer mat. Okay, this is, um, you would see this is a mat, as I said, it's printed on the front, and it's got kind of a um, durable back. And in this country, you would see this is a mat. Okay, and I thought, my friend gave me this, I thought, oh, wonderful, a prayer mat. I can do my um, prayers on that, I can kneel down on this. And my friends were like, no, no, it's sacred. You know, you've got a, a holy picture here. You can't deal on this. Um, this costs two pounds in, in their money. And it just goes to show how, you know, how we would see something like this as, you know, normal. Maybe we could kneel on it. Like we have the little the cushions there. They would never kneel on anything like that because they have so much, you know, respect for anything that's got the cross on it or is anything religious. Um, so combining the churches here and combining the churches there, you know, is a big difference. But again, the feeling... I've got in this um, church here, the feelings I'm getting in Egypt are um, both breathtaking. I'll just pop that on the floor. I hope my Egyptian friends won't be seeing it. Um, so yeah, with the persecuted um, Christians, I've gone also into the, the villages in Egypt. Um, I was very lucky enough for my friends to invite me into their um, villages. I was actually based in the hotels there, so the, the real Egypt I wasn't that much a part of. Uh, but when going into one... Um, village at Christmas. Um, there was lots of army there because one of the Christians had been killed by a Muslim. Um, and this is something, you know, the, the government, they, they don't put it in the newspapers, the government don't allow them to. And you get a few Western reports of what's happening there, um, but it really is um, breathtaking when you see, you know, all the, the military around the churches that they really have to have there to guard them from the Muslims. Um, one of my Muslim friends there that I went to visit, um, you know, he, said, he didn't even introduce me to this side of the village, and I said, what's over there? And he said, oh no, you don't need to know about that. And then about a year later, I found out that's the Christian area of that village. Um, so it's really disappointing to see the challenges that the, the Christians, so when Sarah talks about the persecuted Egyptians, you know, I really, I've seen that and, and felt it. Um, in that village, you've got a church there that's been knocked down about four times by the Muslims. And basically every time the Christians make it, the, the Muslims go down in the night and just um, smash it all up. Um, so although you may think, you know, the, the Middle East is um, becoming westernised, um, I've seen a very, very different picture, and this is where um, the charity that um, Sarah is pushing and putting something on the, the back wall there, I really do believe in that. So um, I've seen it with my very eyes, and hopefully I'll come back with even more stories. Um, I've been going to... Um, church there quite a lot over Easter, um, which was really, really good. Um, if you think this service is long, guys, they do eight hours every day over Lent. Um, and it was exhausting, really, really exhausting. Um, I was fasting as well for one week, but I'm looking forward to that this time when I'll be doing um, the whole thing. 
Um, and I'm looking forward to Christmas as well, which will be amazing over there. Uh, most of them are Coptic Christians, so it'll be the 6th of January, I'll be celebrating Christmas over there, as well as the tourist Christmas, as well as New Year, so I'll be there for a nice time. Um, and I will look forward to telling you more stories when I can tell. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you for welcoming me, um, and I look forward to uh, living with you in the spirit here. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone keeps sure saying this to me. What, are you sure you're going to come back? You're enthusiastic. Joe, I've got faith, which reminds me very much of what we read about in the end. It worries me that, you know, you're not going to be happy. Then I always I... confess your faith, but at the same time, please come back. And do you remember, Andy, a few weeks ago, was talking about um, the, the, the stories from the Bible about wearing something. So I've got my Christian ring, my uh, Christian little um, wristbands, and my Jesus belt as well. So I'm fully protected and ready to go into a Muslim country. Excellent. Something that I've been aware of for a while, and 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 I've been aware of um, basically, so the Muslims don't preach to them, um, and they have them on the, the ladies have to have them on their thumb and on their little fingers. So when they meet a man, they know straight away that they're Christian. And they shouldn't be preached to about Islam. So we're pleased now. I've also got my Christian tattoo to protect me. <laughs> Yeah, really important.